We could just take this desk, put it outside today. That it's would one be of those lovely. Days where you just want to be out there. Yeah, just maybe in the shade and then yeah. get in the sun for a little while. Starts to feel a little warm, but not bad. And as you go into this weekend, it's going to be great for doing all your fall activities that maybe you've had to put off a little later this year because we had such a hot September and early part of October. If you're heading any pumpkin patches, temperatures will be in the 70s Saturday morning. We may come close to 80 though during the afternoon. A really nice weekend in store, but we do have a small rain chance to talk about. So let's break it down. It's going to be sunny and warm for Friday. If you have plans to hit up some high school football in the evening, maybe fall for Greenville looks great. And Saturday really looks pretty good too. Fairly mild. We'll notice increasing clouds toward late in the day. And then by the time we get into Sunday, that's when we'll have a little better chance of rain. Late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. And then looks like by about 2, 3 in the afternoon, most of that rain should be out. I'll show you hour by hour in just a second on Futurecast. Temperatures in the upper 70s out there. So well, for the most spot, most spots, 75 there in uh, Spartanburg considered mid 70s, I guess. And we've hit 80 in Tacoa. So yes, we've had got, gotten a little bit on the warm side in many areas, upper 60s across Hendersonville and Fox Radar 3D is nice and clear. It's going to stay clear to tomorrow. Hardly a cloud in the sky right now, and that's going to be the case into Friday morning and much of the day. A few clouds may pop up in the mountains, and even a stray shower can't be completely ruled out, but should stay totally dry in upstate areas. Here comes a front on Saturday, though. We'll begin to pick up a few showers out in Tennessee, and then that's all going to be, roll be rolling in but falling apart as it gets here late Saturday evening into Sunday. So watch what happens as it gets into the mountains on Saturday around 5 p.m., May pick up a stray shower or two. There won't be a lot of moisture with this front. Good amount of cloud cover though, and you'll notice that as we go into Saturday at late night around 10 p.m. we'll have a couple of showers left and then the rain may linger into Sunday morning. So notice at 9 a.m. still seeing a couple spotty showers, but most of that's going to be pushing out as we head toward late Sunday. So breaking down Friday even further, looks like we're going to make it to around 79 degrees by late in the day, starting in the 50s though. So a dress in layers kind of day for sure, making it to the low 70s across western North Carolina. Looks great for fall for Greenville Friday evening. That rain or the spotty shower activity should hold off until late on Saturday. So breaking down the weekend, keeping rain chances low, only a 20% chance on Saturday, 30% in the morning on Sunday, but by the afternoon should be clearing out. And a pretty big difference in temperatures. We'll go from 70s and 80s on Saturday to 60s and 70s on Sunday. And skies will be clearing in western North Carolina throughout the second half of the weekend. Here's a look at your next seven days as we'll have some clouds to start next week. Small rain chances Tuesday into Wednesday with mid to low 70s for highs. In fact, a, another front comes in that's going to drop temperatures to close to 40 degree range for the upstate by the time we get to Wednesday night. And we will likely see some 40s in the mountains heading toward middle of next week. Now, of course, we